This is into the pit? Oh, the time traveling ball pit's in the game now. Generic intro into that goes Moo here, back with another game theory reaction. Today we're doing the newest FNAF game theory video, which is about FNAF Into the Pit, which is the newest game, and I know basically nothing about it outside of what they talked about in the last game theory FNAF video. You can check my reaction to that, I'll leave it right up there. Also, link down below in the description, also in two places on my channel, one being all of my game theory reactions, and one being all of my game theory FNAF reactions, if you want to go through and binge those in chronological order. I do read every one of your comments, leave them down below, and you've got to be kidding me, because I believe I was supposed to be starting a new franchise uh, for game theory, probably going to be like uh, Bending the Ink Machine, or probably play time or one of some, something like that was supposed to be started like three weeks ago but then they dropped the FNAF video and then they dropped a Minecraft theory and then they, I, I it, it's just I it's actually crazy that this has happened let's take like three or four weeks now that I was supposed to start a new franchise but game theory is just pumping out FNAF and Minecraft stuff it's you can't make it up I, I'm taking it as a personal attack at this point but I love it because I love these videos thank you so much for being here I do read all your comments leave some down below shout out to the people that told me about it on the the animation versus minecraft i know animation versus league of legends video actually but like i said i do read all the comments leave them down below hope you have a wonderful day i hope i can pay a tiny little better shout out to the patrons because they get all the videos a day early do it all a month get you all my reaction videos a day early she's like 16 videos a week and i do it all myself and i read all your comments as well so it's a whole lot of work but i'm really looking forward to learning about into the pit and i have not played into the pit at all and i know almost nothing about it outside of the last video but let's go ahead and jump into into the pit changes the fnaf timeline What's the point oh, of this mask? You can't make this up, As you dude. explore the you house can't. of our main character, Oswald, like, this item can fall This is into the pit? But when during what? the game this happens is completely random. What's even stranger is that it's the only piece of Fazbear merchandise in the entire like. house. The game would have you believe that it's just a tradable item. And while, yes, you can Press use X it for that doubt. purpose, there are plenty of other items Dynamite. that show up way more reliably that can also be used for the game's one and only trade. Making a luck-based item like this feel totally unnecessary. Unless huh. it's not really here to be a game mechanic it's here to tell us something something that somebody important. that was at the I birthday party that hid, a, hid it away hid the evidence i don't know it's Hello, serious Internet. it's crazy Welcome i was supposed to be starting a new franchise i was supposed to start a new yes, franchise last week and the week before that and like the week before that too only fnaf game of 2024 into the pit a game based on the first fazbear fright story released oh. as part of the big finale of fnaf's 10th anniversary or at least it was supposed to be it oh. ended up coming out a day early and so instead oh. we got why did it release FNAF a day early did it get leaked or something day. we should probably look into that regardless it came out and people loved this thing like the original really? story we follow a 10 year old boy called Oswald who finds a time traveling ball pit oh, inside so time traveling ball pit in the game Jeff's now pizza. the ball pit takes him back to 1985 where he finds out that Jeff's used to be a Freddy Fazbear Jeff's this thing's got all Pepe? the stuff you'd expect arcade machines pizza and a bunch of dead kids along with the yellow rabbit mascot that's responsible yeah this place yeah. is the real deal the yellow rabbit tries to catch Oswald but he escapes only for the yellow creature to jump out and drag his oh. dad back into oh, his the pit dad? instead the rabbit then re-emerges from the pit only now he's posing as oswald's oh, father and wait, i don't huh? just mean he's acting like his dad i mean he, he physically is. takes on his appearance at least to everyone else nobody seems to be able to see the yellow rabbit except for oswald oh. and so it's up to him to find a way to sneak past the rabbit get out of the house oh and back no to jeff's to it's find a stealth game dad. eventually no, oswald does it. find Can't him do frees nope. him and kills the yellow rabbit in the process there are some changes here and I there to make sure that it one works as a and game part of sister location story but overall it's a really good experience the time one. travel mechanics work great that's on this channel puzzles, i and believe the pixel art style is oh, actually, gorgeous is however like I'm any game, game we all know why we're really here the law and that's where things like get games. a little bit messy this game is full of references from all across the FNAF FNAF universe. Too. So yeah. fright stories the games the graphic well models, is this game FNAF said movie. to be canon oh, and then there's this wow whoever ggy is Gregory oh my God. score on every game. I mean, technically, if uh -huh. Gregory were a robot, he would live this entire time. What troll if he was around that long? <sighs> so yeah, as you can also, see, the nice lore of this that. game is a bit all over the place. I'm waiting for the lore it's five. It's hard to know if these appearance. are meant to be just Easter eggs or whether they're legitimate lore. And I'm sure we could all argue about this till the animatronic cows come home. But instead, I figured we'd do something a little different. Rather than focusing on solving the lore of this game specifically, I wanted to try zooming out a little. And looking the entire the timeline how this game would work. Six games are about I don't know if it's canon or not their lives their mistakes their deaths their resurrections 
all of that stuff. But since then, we've begun being introduced to characters who, at some point or another, were impacted by the Afton family and their actions. Cassie in Ruin, her father in Help Wanted 2. This new era of FNAF is about the ripple effects caused by the Afton family. And I believe we're being shown exactly that in Into the Pit. And it all comes down to what? a single collectible, the Freddy mask. Yep, I don't know. One item is I have a feeling that when we get the puppet the origin Scott story, or the mimic FNAF, but also story, show it's going to change it everything. Going in the future. How? Well, let's just pop in the second tape to find out. Jump scare? Oh. Team Theory. Uh, hi, Tom. Also, I can't believe Steve from Minecraft is like almost 800 pounds. Hi, Lee. It's Amy. What is this? Is this supposed to be like a... Like a sitcom or something? Santi. He's the uh, food theorist, right? Oh, she's fashion theorist. Okay, this is like all if they all run the different channels now. Embrace your legacy. The Legacy Collection featuring oh, four new oh. signature jackets and a range of flattering graphic tees is available now at LuminOfficial.com. Welcome That's back actually kind of sick. Thanks Those shirts are actually something I would wear. And also, this jacket, the, the what is it, Paisley? I, most of my ties for my suit Freddy are Paisley During ties. the game, you can explore multiple rooms in Oswald's house. One of the rooms is Oswald's attic. But on a random night, there's a chance that this Freddy mask will fall down when you open the hatch. How did it get there? Because you can't because really one, it's put that not mentioned in the original if book. You can get two, down. Oswald doesn't really know who Freddy is. If you collect the toy Freddy item, he calls Freddy this thing rather than by his name. And then if you collect oh, this I'm mask specifically, Freddy he mask. asks, why would anyone want to look like this thing? Not only oh. does he not know who Freddy is, but he has no idea why anyone Blood's would creepy look for like real. Him. This cannot be his mask, meaning it would have to belong to someone else in the house. Given their prominence in the game, my first thought was that it must belong to his dad. But when I realized that, there was just one thought running through my head. Is Ooh. Oswald's dad Freddy bro? The bully wearing the Freddy mask oh. during the bite of eighty three. But would he really let this the kid person thinking this go game, into that plenty place? Plenty of others online were quick to make this connection. Wow. But why? Why would the immediate assumption be that if Oswald's so dad I wonder why has a they Freddy took mask, their time. then he must be this random character from FNAF 4? Because well, they said they needed time to get out this first video. Time this has happened. In Ruin, Cassie was able to collect a Bonnie mask and combining that with other details she gave us about her dad, like the fact his favorite character was Bonnie and that he collected Fazbear memorabilia from the 80s, yeah. led us to believe that Cassie's dad was another one of these bullies, Bonnie Bro. However, a uh, mask Is there alone be one for all of them? Bro make. There would obviously need to be other connections, and so the first yeah, question a I mask asked myself was: they probably give it to every kid match. at a party. It sounds simple enough, but we're actually missing a number of crucial details. The game doesn't tell us how old Oswald's dad is. All we know is that he's old enough to have a ten-year-old son. Well, On the other I, side of things, while we don't have the exact ages, exactly it us. seems pretty widely accepted that Michael and his bully friends are at least tweens when we see them in 1983. So, for Freddy Bro and Oswald's dad to be the same person, Into the Pit would need to take place far enough in the future from 1983 Ooh. where he could grow up, have a kid, and have the kid turn 10 years old, while also not being so far into the future that he becomes too unreasonably old to look the way what he do you, does. Which what do you mean? To my the, second I mean, people age differently. It's very <laughs> explicit that Oswald is traveling back to 1985, but it's never stated what year he starts in. In okay, fact, so Megacat Studios has been so careful not to reveal the date that despite the calendar in the past giving us the month and year the one in oswald's house just says the present august only shows the month wow but that's there are a few not details nice. that slipped through the cracks and i believe that they will be looking at code out at least a rough range of dates for when this story takes place during the second day you have the opportunity to look around oswald's school and blink. in the second classroom you can find several things hanging on the wall like numbers a sun clock and a world map that seems sun a little clock. broken maybe that's why there's no bears in security breach. Before their extinction, bears were known to attack Wait, bears were extinct? Trucks. Probably a what? theory for another day, but just Barely below that very all. confusing map is the actually important detail. Another calendar. Just like the one in our house wait, that tells us the wait, month with no Wait, are we gonna year, use the days of the week? It has the, the days yeah. crossed out, with the final marked date on the calendar being August 16th. Now, as a Brit, I typically read my well, calendar as the first day being Monday that. and the last day being a Sunday. That would make all 
Oh, yeah, they do that in Europe. Friday in this game. However, FNAF takes we, place no, in we the don't US, do, yeah. and you guys use some weird calendars that start on a Sunday and end on a Saturday. I have no idea how this makes sense to you. It's called the week end for a reason. Well, and technically Sunday is the first day of the week. Means that August 16th is a right? Thursday during Pretty sure that's the year right. the game takes place. There's only a few years after like, I get what he says with the weekend August thing. The 16th has been on a Thursday, 1990, 2001, 2007, 2012, and 2018. This immediately narrows down our search. The, five the range options. of dates still feels a little too large. We're currently spanning three whole decades. Plus, if the game took place sometime during those early dates, like 1990, then it it would be for him to be, yeah. impossible for Oswald's dad to have a 10-year-old son and be a teenage Freddy bro in 1983. So, Which means he was born like 1970s, My gut yeah. instinct was to look more closely at the technology being used. Text come a long way in the last 30 years, what so it's that? Be pretty easy to date. The piece of the tech Huawei we have the hands-on time with in this game is Oswald's dad's cell phone. Taking a look Ooh, at it in your inventory, a comment from Oswald about how it's, quote, the saddest, most out-of-date model Oh, it's out-of-date, okay. And by today's standards... Yeah, I definitely so agree. is it from so 2001? I did some research into older mobile phones, and ah. after looking through multiple sites with every make the and model Nokia? of phone since the 1980s, I found this: the Nokia 6600, which is almost identical to the phone oh. Oswald uses throughout the well, game. Well, to be this fair, a lot of phones look like that. 2003, which means so that means it's 2007. Timeline years of 1990. It's four years really outdated, though. The My phone's three years old. Dates, I had to do a lot more digging than I anticipated. Scott and Megacat did a very good job keeping the world looking pretty ambiguous. I looked at washing machines, water fountains, washing blackboards, machine. whiteboards, TVs, but all of them were either TVs too are... generic to suggest a year, or the item is still being used in the modern day despite yeah. its age. Thankfully, my technology hunch the, uh, came what, What's going on? Are we not using washing machines day, anymore? You get to go into the back of Jeff's pizza, and there you could find Jeff sitting down at Are we going to look at what version of Windows he's using? Screen, I immediately noticed something. The gray taskbar and window design is identical to the design of Windows 95, but actually that isn't what I noticed. Despite Doesn't coming out the in government run on Windows 95 still? Windows 95, still still? Windows 95 today. No, what I noticed was the size of his monitors, specifically their aspect ratio. Aspect ratio basically refers That's to like, the ratio what, 16 by 9? the height and the width of an object or video. For example, the video you're watching right now has an aspect ratio of 16 by 9, meaning for every 9 pixels of height, there are 16 pixels of width. And I'm not Most sure if I necessarily had it because my monitors are made in this format. So naturally, on the Xbox of our TVs and it's a 1440p monitor. To match that. But that it's wasn't also always a the case. Computer screens wide. actually used to come in it's, two different aspect ratios. Yeah, square. Four by three or 16 Yeah, by the square ones. That was until 2008 when the modern 16 by 9 was introduced. Was and it really 2008? I didn't know that. That's the majority. So the question is, what size are Jeff's monitors? Of course, I whipped out the trusty pixel measurements and I can confirm that Jeff's again. monitors are in fact modern 16 by 9 monitors, despite him still running Windows 95. Not sure <laughs> you're gonna be getting the most out of those monitors, nah, Jeff. I'm that's sure fine. LTT would have some thoughts. Ah, but, hey, you do you. That I literally have a LTT out of the uh, ring, leaving us pad. I have the, the Northern Lights one, which for our purposes is Love it. actually it's great. more than enough. The fact the game can't take place in any of the years prior to 2012 means that from a timeline standpoint, it's definitely possible for Oswald's dad and Freddy Bro to be the same person. If he was a teenager in the 80s, also, that is a crazy connection. Years have passed, so he'd definitely be old enough to have a kid aspect of his own. ratios However, and phones. Even with that part of the timeline at least somewhat figured out, I realized I had a different problem. Sure, Oswald's dad could be the right age if he was a teenager in 1983, but that kind of relies on us assuming he's Freddy Bro to begin with, which isn't proof but, in and of itself. I why would the mask more. be upstairs? I didn't just though. need the year of the game. I needed something that proved Oswald's dad was alive in the 80s. I looked through every inch of this game, but found <laughs> nothing. So I did the only thing I could. I went back and reread the book. I know, who could have seen that? Coming? Maybe there'll now, be a hint I've there about books Oswald or his times, dad. But each time I do, new details jump out to me. And with this new game fresh in my mind, I spotted this. You can make the connections. Quest. Dad, how old were you in 1985? I was just a couple years older than you. All I could think about was how many quarters I had to spend at the arcade. Jeff's Pizza, back before it was Jeff's Pizza. It was some kind of arcade, wasn't it? 
yeah, it was, but it closed. At this point, we know that Jeff's Pizza was originally a Freddy yeah. Fazbear's Pizza back in 1985. So for Scott to remind and us, he was a couple years older than him, which would mean that, that he was, dad spent all of his time you know, like early teens, or teens. It's not a massive leap to assume that the two are connected. So not only was Oswald's dad alive during 1985, but he spent a lot of time at Freddy's as well. But it and the gets age better lines up. Even though Oswald's dad was playing coy about his age, a couple of years is definitely something i don't know why he said a couple of years fact, there have actually been studies on what people mean when they say a couple of years right. traditionally a couple the years couple like two just meant two but, but it's usually like probably two to four mean anything from two to eight although it tends to average out at around three to four yeah. years if that's the case then with oswald being 10 during the story oswald's dad would have been roughly 13 to 14 during 1985 i would say 12 to 14 40 for the earliest date we found 2012 that is more than reasonable considering he has a 10 year old son but yeah kid we started yeah that, no, that lines up bullies well if oswald's dad was 13 or 14 in 1985 that would mean that in 1983 two years earlier he would have been 11 or 12 which now, we don't lines know up the ages of michael and his friends here but we can make a pretty good educated guess the average height of an 11 to 12 year old boy is between 56 and 59 inches and during the scene we see them walk unless they're like me who grows like six inches tables, in, in a month, measure in at around from 8th and 9th grade tall. if you take a look I, i'm not kidding I, the bullies are just that, shy of 2011 the tables height just putting 14? their height smack same month i turned 14 i grew six of inches 56 to 59 average did did we just find the ages of the FNAF 4 bullies? Huh, that Might was have. not the intention of this episode. And, you know, it's FNAF, so I'm not going to hold on to it too tightly, but it's they can always interesting change. to think about. And for our purposes today, it does mean that Oswald's dad would have been the perfect age in 1983. Combining that huh. with his frequenting of Freddy's locations and owning the same mask, he's looking like a pretty good candidate. I mean, why would they throw that in the game then? Freddy if it's all about it's his more dad than just the timeline the stuff too. A detail I always thought was down. odd was Oswald's affinity for drawing, quote, mechanical animals. He does this at the start of both the game and the book, and as we get more details, it turns out he's drawing characters like Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica. But this is before he's even gone to Freddy's, and as I've already mentioned, at that point, Oswald doesn't know who these characters are. What's even weirder is these That's drawings be terrifying. don't play any part in the story whatsoever. So why are we being shown this? Because the start of a story is where you establish who your character is. Their likes, dislikes, hopes, dreams, and their relationships. In this case, we're being shown that before this story about a Freddy Fazbear's even starts, this character, this family, has a connection to the Fazbear franchise. A connection they Oswald like the color blue. Really understand, but one that his dad certainly does. But why does this matter? What does this fundamentally change for us? Is it like a revenge thing? Of this franchise. Well, it's once is again that why us that this modern he went after him is widening our view on the world and the characters we look at, focusing on the knock-on effects of the Afton family and how the part these other characters play then why did he go after his them father like that their ways Cassie's dad being Bonnie bro in ruin was the first instance of this Cassie tells us that he had a technician's faz wrench hinting Which that makes after sense. the bite of 83 he grew up and became a technician so that he could stop any malfunction like the one oh, he I was gonna say yeah happened. I was like why would you do that Oswald's but then yeah dad that, that's, okay, that's does quite the same noble. thing we learn that Oswald's dad used to work at the local mill before it shut down again in true Scott fashion he kept what type of mill this was vague in the story. Just a I mill. always imagined it was just your typical steel or wood mill. But in the game, we actually get to well, visit. Do we know where it or takes more accurately, place? you get to visit the trash heap outside the mill. Although this isn't any ordinary trash. Oh. I mean, some of it is, but next to the classic black bags, you can see a few recognizable Fazbear characters. The oh. obvious ones are trash and the gang from FNAF. Why is 6. that? Because of course the characters made that, from then? literal trash are hiding out in a dumpster. But besides them, you can also find things like a toy. Bonnie doll, a Bonnie mask, a Freddy head, and a couple of animatronic hands and feet. And these things do belong to the mill as well, because Oswald says that they've been sitting there ever since, since the, the factory closed oh. down. This mill isn't just your typical mill. They were making parts for Fazbear Entertainment. Which, was that Oswald's technically be counted as a mill? That's not what I think so of a mill, it's just a like factory. He grew up and started working at the local factory that made Fazbear parts to make sure that they were properly inspected, tested, and approved before. Which is kind of crazy. That's that way, no all kind of did that. 
that. suffer the same fate as Michael's brother due to a faulty part. For years, Michael, the foxy bro, was the only one of the bullies to truly try to... So what are we going to learn about Chica? He, made. he wasn't able to help his brother, but he tried to put his sister back together. And when he learned the truth about his dad from her, he went on a mission to finish him as well. But for we're, we're going to learn about Chica Jeff, at some point, right? The bullies basically got away with it. They just disappeared into the back of people's minds, never to be seen or heard from again. Now, here they also, are. Also, the fact that we're using that as an one, origin story. Revealing to us that these events did change them. That like, you just know, like, like Michael, they too are trying to atone for what they did back in 1983. And this theory works regardless of whether you think Into the Pit and the books are 100% canon and Oswald's dad is literally I mean, Freddy it wouldn't make sense. I mean, it would be a, a good story. Whether it's right or wrong, it's still the it's same. cool. This I like it. I like the direction. It's about the ripple effects of the Aftons and the atonement of the FNAF 4 bullies. Scott is trying to wrap up loose ends that were left dangling for years. He's giving the us count a little of, I guess more the insight loose characters ends. that up until now have Are we going to hypothesize about Chica? I guess we have nothing up by and Freddy bro were just hypothesize bullies. about. Kids that it looks to be easy to figure out which one it was, Mike's though. little brother into the mouth of an animatronic he was terrified of. But now, we're being shown that they didn't stay those one-note cruel bullies after that. That just like Michael, they were haunted by what they did and were doing whatever they could to make up for it. Unless see, during Chica the end of the took game, a different Oswald's path. Dad deeply cares about his son. He's maybe. no longer the awful bully. He's kind and loving. Maybe, just maybe Chica and took it differently down, and handled the situation differently the than the others. Horrifying incident happening. I don't know. Again. Just like I think that could be an interesting as a twitch. technician, and just twist, like not Foxy Bro did when he put an end to dear old dad. So theorists, when the next FNAF game does come out, one that isn't a prequel anyway, make Secret sure of you the keep Mimic. an eye out. The prequel's going to give a lot. I have a feeling whoever it belongs to might have an important story to tell. But hey, I feel like it's going to be different though. Have we got a oh. peachy deal for you. Fierce Legacy Collection has the peach. With shirts inspired uh, by your favorite theories, including the food theories. Blueberry doesn't exist. Peach, I've never had peach, one. Dead peach. So much dead peach that we're putting you into a dead peach overdrive. Their dead peach is in another casket. Your dead casket. Peach is limited edition. What time is it? Dead peach o'clock. What's your favorite theory? Dead peach. Duh. There Wait, are other shirts too, I haven't but seen you that can't one. get more dead peach than this. Why? Hey, why? That's just a dead I mean, I do like wearing pink. Pink is a color I do wear. See, some of the, I would actually wear the blueberry doesn't exist shirt. That's more of my style as I'm wearing. Actually, this is uh, Internet Today, if you know them. Uh, I got this at RTX. I love this shirt. This shirt is amazing. Um, that, but yeah, no, this is YouTuber merch. But Into the Pit changes the FNAF timeline. I don't know if it necessarily changes the FNAF timeline, but it tells us about characters. Loose end. He says loose end. I'm not sure anybody was really losing sleep. Like, oh, the bullies. The bullies from the bite of 85. You know, like, it was cool. It's a good way to, like, kind of branch off of the same kind of thing and just kind of, like, move off into these different characters that have already been introduced that nobody was thinking about. I don't know. I look forward to reading your comments. Let me know what you think about this. I read every single comments. I respond to a lot of comments as well. So you know I'm actually reading them. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. I hope I made a tiny better. I hope you're subscribed. We're approaching 100,000 subscribers. And hopefully... Hopefully next Wednesday I should be starting a new game theory um game franchise. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know at this point. It's actually insane. But I look forward to the next video. But until then, take care and kitty music. We were playing.